set destination, even if you can't see it whilst walking because of hills or trees. Use a base plate compass. It's the only kind that you can orientate yourself with whilst hiking. In order to take your reading, remember these three steps. Calibrate the compass, record your position, and set off whilst checking your direction at regular intervals. Firstly, calibrate the compass. Locate your end destination, take your compass, keeping it level, and turn the orientating arrow to the direction of your desired destination. Secondly, record your position. Once you've worked out the direction you'll be taking, turn the dial on the face of the compass to line the compass needle up. All you need to do to make your compass is a piece of cork, a needle, a magnet, some water, and a non-metallic bowl. Now as you're working with a sharp needle, make sure you have an adult present. What you need to do is take your magnet and rub it against the needle several times in a circular motion. Then pour some water into your bowl, place the piece of cork on top of the water and very carefully balance your needle on top of the cork. You'll see that it starts to spin round. Isn't that amazing? If you want to make sure that your homemade compass is pointing the right way, why not take a real compass and place it next to it? Are they pointing the same way? This is because the needle, having picked up some of the magnetic attraction, which is the North Pole and which is the South, but we'll find out soon. Place your magnets in the middle of the page and trace around it. Place the plotting compass near the magnets. Mark the direction that the compass needle points by drawing a dot. After the first plot, move the compass so that the back of the needle lines up with the dot. Repeat this until you reach the end of the magnet. Join the points together to show a field line. I'll also draw an arrow here to show the direction that the needle is pointing in. I'll do all of the above again with another starting point. Looking at the field that we've plotted, we can figure out the four main properties of magnetic field lines. Sandpaper, 21 gauge magnet wire, scissors, a large iron nail, alligator clips, AA battery pack, batteries, and some staples. Step 1. Take your large iron nail and your wire, wrap it around the nail at least 20 times. Magnet wire is just copper wire with a thin coating on top of it. Uncoated wire won't work. When you're done wrapping your wire, leave a little bit sticking out and cut it with your scissors. Now take your sandpaper and use it to scrape the coating off the wire. As you sand, you'll start to see the copper show through from underneath the coating. Keep sanding until all the red is gone. Once you're done, do the same on the other side. Next, let's hook up our alligator clips to our battery pack. Clip one of the alligator clips onto a wire end. Now we're ready to test our electromagnet. So first you need to take your staples, spread them out. To hook up your electromagnet, just attach the other alligator clip. Then bring the tip down close to the staple.
Take a bar magnet and place one of its poles on the soft iron piece as shown here. Stroke the soft iron piece with the bar magnet. When the magnet reaches B, lift it and place it back to the position A and repeat the process several times. The upper side of the soft iron gets magnetized. Now turn the soft iron bar as shown here and magnetize the lower side in the same manner. The point A will get the same polarity as the pole of the magnet touching it and the upper end of the bar will attain the polarity opposite to that of the magnetizing pole. Test for magnetism Place some iron nails on the table. Now bring the soft iron piece near the iron nails. The soft iron piece attracts the nails showing that magnetism is induced in it. As shown here.